Parliamentary Secretary to the Admiralty announced in the House of Commons that the new estimates make the British Navy the greatest navy the world has ever seen. Our fleet is so strong that it can accept a challenge by any probable combination of foes. That is no idle boast, and the Gaumont British News cameramen with the fleet secured these pictures to prove it. The combined home and Mediterranean fleets on manoeuvres tell more forcibly than any words of the strength of Britain's defence. The Parliamentary Secretary stated that the ship can beat the aeroplane. Secret research and preparation have mastered the problem of the submarine. In a world where power is the argument, Britain has more than her share of power. Out from the Mediterranean into the broad Atlantic, from our position on board HMS Barham, watch the capital ships march out to sea. Warspite and Malaya. Malaya and Rodney too, kings of the seven seas in the glorious majesty of invincible steel. Line abreast, Newcastle, Nelson, Resolution, Royal Sovereign and Southampton. HMS Warspite. Following on is HMS Malaya preparing for action. And the latest of Britain's destroyers, Nubian. Take off as destroyers go into action, engaging the enemy through a concealing bank of fog. Aircraft carrier Ark Royal, one of the newest and most important additions to the Navy. On board the aircraft carrier Glorious, activity quickens another of those modern warships into life. Up from the gloomy depths come scores of planes to roar into the sky. See the huge aerial torpedoes fitted below the swordfish planes prior to an attack on the enemy fleet. Then machine after machine takes off from this armored floating aerodrome over the wide ocean. Fighters and spotters and still more fighters racing along the flying deck and flashing out into the blue. Another mighty muscular arm of the giant which we proudly call the Royal Navy. upon the ocean, 
but the Navy will not sleep. In the deepening dusk, they march on those steel fortresses. In a world gone mad, they have a rock-like sanity. They are the emblem of security and the guarantee of peace to the Empire and to the world. So let us drink a toast, the British Navy.